Hey, Jace Tunnel here. Uh, today I got something real cool to talk to y'all about. And uh, that's a tube worm. And there's a couple of different species of tube worms you probably see, uh, especially if you're, you're in areas when it's low tide and uh, or Ooh. after a storm event and you find yeah. a bunch of debris Pardon? washing around. You probably find, uh, these are real common. These are plume worms, casings anyway, and they have shells on the outside. So it looks like a straw with shells glued to it. So you've probably seen those uh, before. Uh, this other one is harder to uh, see or to recognize anyway. You might actually think it's a stick or something like that. It's called a parchment tube worm. And the reason it's called a parchment tube worm is because uh, it creates this tube, the worm, uh, is a, a polychaete, uh, which is just a, a, a crazy looking worm uh, that has hairs on it and crazy mouth parts and stuff like that. But uh, it's mucus and a mixture of sand can actually uh, make this tube uh, that's like paper. And so, you know, parchment paper. And so that's how it gets its name. And here in a second, I just thought about this. This one feels dried. I don't think the worm's still in here. Like if it is, it's dead, but I'll, I'm gonna cut it open to see what's in there. But these parchment tube worms, they, they li it lives like this. And say this is the sediment, uh, it would have uh, both ends that come up into the water. So it's, it's in the water, in the mud. Uh, the two ends are very narrow and they come up. And uh, it, it, uh, the worm itself has these different segments and um, some of the segments have what look like paddles, so they can actually pull water from one end and go all the way around and sp uh, spit it out the other end. And when they do that, they have like this net um, to be able to collect um, plankton. So that's what they feed on is plankton. So they have the water coming in, collecting the plankton to feed. Um, now these worms live their entire adult life, adult life in this tube. Can you imagine? Uh, as they get older, uh, they can actually uh, cut slits in here and add some more parchment paper. And that's how the tube is able to grow. Uh, this would be full-size adult right here. They live in this, they, they live for about a year. So uh, I don't know if you like confined spaces or not. <laughs> I don't think I could do that. Um, now, let's see. The, there is something you might have heard of bioluminescence before and these are organisms that uh, if they're disturbed they can create this like light and so you might have seen been at the beach before and at nighttime you see the waves look like they're green or bluish uh, those are actually organisms in there that have bioluminescence so lights these worms have that as well so a worm in here might only be you know take up that much of the tube. Now, if it gets scared or, you know, it says, oh, something's trying to get me, it'll come up to like one side of it and its mucus will have the bioluminescence, the glowing stuff in it. And then that will uh, make it glow over here to try to detour whatever is trying to get them. <clears throat> um, one other thing is that is very cool about this is that it actually lives with little crabs. Tube pea crabs. The only place they're found in the world is inside of this tube with the worm. And so, say the worm's over here, you'd have the crabs over here, like moving around uh, inside of there. Uh, that, that's just pretty amazing to me. So they have like a, this relationship there where they don't hurt each other, but they, they uh, live and thrive uh, with each other. So um, let me get my knife here. Y'all know I'm, I like to cut things open, right? And I actually have two, two of these here. This is an older one that I found washed up. Now, it could just be sand inside of here. I don't know. Oh, yeah, it's just cut, cutting like paper. Just like you would think. Let's see what comes out of here. Looks like a lot of sand. You know those... Uh, straws that have sugar in them that's kind of what it reminds me of nope just uh no no dried up worm in there um looks like it just has the parchment paper tube see how i'm uh, cutting that open just like paper yeah okay well 
that's it for the the parchment worm uh now you know if you find these tubes uh, what they are um okay happy beachcombing we'll talk to you later bye